Well, the Conowingo Dam has been supplying electricity for decades. It's also been trapping huge amounts of sediment flowing down the Susquehanna. As Alex Dimitrik reports, that sediment is now escaping into the bay. For almost 90 years, Conowingo Dam has been providing hydroelectricity. It has also held back much of the dirt that was washed off the land into the Susquehanna River. Last year, Maryland's governor toured the dam and warned. Conowingo Dam Reservoir has reached capacity and is no longer able to trap sediment. And heavy rain could set it loose as it did in 2011. Tropical Storm Lee sent a plume of sediment into the bay, stretching from the dam to the Potomac River. There was major sedimentation, destroyed vast areas of oyster bottom and stuff like that, and it's, it's something that has to be in address. And Maryland's Department of Environment has done just that, holding a license renewal over the head of energy company Exelon. They own the dam. They're seeking a 50-year license. The state of Maryland has the opportunity, and the governor insists we have the obligation to make real progress in, in protecting the river and the Chesapeake Bay. The options include dredging sediment from behind the dam, along with better river management upstream. In a statement, Exelon says the dam does not produce pollution itself, but will work with the state on long-term solutions. While the pressure is on Exelon, it isn't the state's only focus. Upstream partners, their feet need to be held to the fire, too, such as Pennsylvania, New York, communities, farms upstream to pollute less. Maryland also wants better debris collection before it comes over the dam and improvements to fish ladders and passages. Alex Dimitri, WJZ. Before the state and Exelon get down to months of negotiations, federal regulators must first review the state's proposed relicensing documents.